Live from Television City in Chicago, Illinois, is the greatest game show on the DGSN, Tic Tac Go. And hey, everybody, welcome to Tic Tac Go on the Rodney1279 channel. Glad to have you with us. We're going to have an awesome time. I can feel it in my bones. Well, we, where we left off on the last episode, we have had a, a tie game between our two opponents. We're going to get right into the game right now. Right now, we have Alan Burns. And we also have Carla the Bundy Chick, who's the returning champion, with a total of $22,000 in cash, two wins and one tie, okay? And where we left off on the last time, the jackpot was at $30,000. So it's a lot of money in there. Y'all guys out there? Yes. Y'all guys out there? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get right into this game. There's a lot of money riding on this game. Good luck to the both of you. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. Here's the new nine categories we're going to be starting with, and they are. We have Mixed Animals, Double or Nothing, Books of the Bible, 1970s TV, Musical Instruments, Opponent's Choice, Toys and Games, The $10,000 Question, and Fast Food. Okay, Carla, where would you begin? Uh, let's try 1970s TV. Go on 1970s TV, okay. Here's your question on 1970s TV. On the TV sitcom MASH, what was the name of Colonel Potter's horse? Is it A, Sophie? B, Tonto? C, what, what was your answer? I'm um, said one. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna say one. Is it A Sophie, B Tonto, C Sadie, or D Bullet? It sounds like no. I don't know. What's your answer? Let's go, Sophie. I don't know. Well, Sophie is correct. Good job. All right, thirty, thirty-two thousand dollars is in the pot, and let's shuffle it. Okay, Alan. Let's try... Let's try double or nothing, please. Okay, going with double or nothing. First, as you know, you, first you know you got to answer this question. Here's your question. What color hair does the Mona Lisa have? Oh, God. Five I'm seconds. Stay black. Black is right. Good job. Under the wire. Now, oh, are, we, are we risking it or are we going to go ahead and uh, play it? I know that be trick question or not. Or stop or play, I I'm should gonna say. Go, I'm going to try mixed animals. Go on mixed animals, okay? You answer the question right and mixed animals. We'll put $4,000 in the pot. And uh, it will be $36,000 in there. Miss it, you'll lose both boxes. Take a look at the chat screen. All right. Okay, you see that mixed animal? Yes. You may see these mixed animals racing in the Kentucky Derby for two boxes. Name it. Horse. You got both boxes. Good job. Yay. $36,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. All right, Carla. Mixed animals for the blog. Mixed animals for the blog. You take a look at this screen now, Carla. You see that mixed animal? Yeah. These mixed animals feast on small rodents and they are common in North America. 
Name this mixed animal. Bobcat. Right you are. Good job. And you got the block. We have $38,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right. Ooh, Alan. <laughs> double. Going double or nothing. Your question. Which penguin sex is larger? Is it the male or the female? Oh. Oh boy, I'm gonna say... Five seconds. The female. Sorry, that's incorrect. Damn it. It's the male. The male. Shit. Okay. Alright, $38,000 is in the pot. Let's shuffle it. All right, Carla. Ooh. What's the vibe for a win, I guess? All right, you guess, huh? All right. For, um, now, if you ask... I'm terrible at this subject, but I'll guess. Okay. All right, now, if you get this question right on books of the Bible, it'll be tic-tac-doe, $40,000, and your winnings will be at $62,000 in cash, Carla. Oh, Here's your question. All right. What books? Oh, what book opens with the words "Now there was a man in the land of us"? Is it A. Ruth, B. Judges, C. Joshua, or D. Job? Uh, yes. uh Judges. Judges is incorrect. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. Yep, the answer is the book of Job. You can find that scripture in Job, the first oh. chapter, verse 1. So, so um, oh, wow. Alan has been saved. We have $38,000 in the pot. We shuffle it. Wait. Okay, Alan. Oh, Lord. <laughs> books of the Bible, please. Okay, go on books of the Bible here. Here's your question on the book of the Bible. What book comes next after Jeremiah? I'll repeat it again. What book comes next after Jeremiah? Let me uh make sure that that noise is out. Okay. Here you go, Alan. What book comes next after Jeremiah? Is it A, Isaiah, B, Lamentations, C, Ezekiel, or D, Daniel? Repeat the choices one more time, please. A, Isaiah, B, Lamentations, C, Ezekiel, or D, Daniel. And you have five seconds. Uh, Daniel? Daniel is incorrect. I'm sorry. Damn it. The answer is Lamentations. Lamentations. Uh, okay, 38,000 still on the pot. We shuffle. All right, Carla. Uh, Again, this is for forty thousand dollars in cash, and we'll bring your winnings to sixty-two thousand dollars if you're right, Carla. Okay. Here's the question: Where was Applebee's founded? Is it A. Macon, Georgia; B. Savannah, Georgia; C. Augusta, Georgia; or D. Atlanta, Georgia? You got tic tac go! Right, 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 right. The so caller, that was a huge win for you. $40,000 and the championship bringing your total to $62,000. And our congratulations, Carla. And you're going to play against that dragon shortly. Well, Alan, you're going to go home with another $2,500 in cash. Thank you. Because you had that tie game, and we'll have you for another game, man. Thank you. All right, Carla. So you did very well winning that game. You ready to go ahead against that dr dragon? All right, let's go ahead. And if you're ready to do this, Carla. You really gave myself a heart attack when I said that. Let's do the... There's something on my mic. Here we go. 
Let's do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, uh, Carlo, welcome to the uh, Beat the Dragon game. You know the object of the game is to get $10,000 before seeing that dragon. And if you do that, we're going to see what prizes you could be in for. Let's see. We have a spy, a queen-size brass bed and sleep set, a Therasana, another spy, a trip to the Bahamas, and a living room group and two Tiffany lamps. And these prizes are totaled $28,649. All right, Carla, managed to get the ticket and attack on any of your picks. We give you a $50,000 bonus. Manage to do it on your first two picks. We'll double that bonus to $100,000, okay? I'm trying to look at TV. Sorry about that, dear. All right, let's shuffle. Cover it up. All right, go ahead and start picking. Okay, say that again, Carla. All right, let's see what's behind number eight. Ooh! Oh boy! Wow! Let's, let's go next door. Say it again. Seven! He says seven, okay. If Tick is behind number seven, we double that bonus to $100,000, and I'm gonna be quiet and let y'all celebrate. Here we go! No, $1,500, but you're still in it uh, for $50,000. Uh, Six. You're going six. Let's see what's six. in number six. Uh -oh. Ooh, $2,500. Stop or go? Four. Oh, no, 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 no. Two. <laughs> you sure about that? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see what's behind number two. There's another $2,500. You up to $5,000. Stop or go? Let's go three. Going three. You only need five thousand dollars. A tick will get you the fifty thousand dollar bonus. Let's see what's behind number three. You did it. Wonder what was behind four that she didn't want to go with. Watch it be the two. Did I pick the dragon? It was a dragon. Her instinct was right. Good move. Good move. Her instincts was right. Good job, Carla. You changed your mind just in time. Wow. So, we add your winnings up. You have $38,649. We add your previous winnings of $62,000. You're at $100,649. Oh, and guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break and pay some bills. And when we come back, we'll do another game. Thanks for your support, guys. That's three wins for you now, Carla. All right, guys, welcome back to Tic Tac Doe on the Rodney1279 channel. For the first time, Carla managed to crack the six figures, winning $100,649. And the next opponent that Carla is facing is Alex O. How you doing, Alex? Doing great, Rodney. He'll be hosting Joker's Wild. <coughs> I'm sorry. He'll be hosting Joker's Wild after this. Are you ready to go, um, Alex? Oh, you man, I really look looking forward to this. Cool. Well, here are the nine subjects we'll be dealing with, and they are. We have, and I'm going to lock y'all uh, names because we got that jumping category in the game. I think this is the code here. There we go. So that way y'all have that access in case that happens. Okay, first category is general knowledge. Second category is the secret category. We have the Bible, State Capitals, Sports Trivia, Jump In category, Monopoly. The bonus category is always a three-part question. Answer that three-part question correctly. You'll get another turn immediately. And we have math. Okay, Carla, which category would you like? Monopoly. I think you said Monopoly? Yes. Okay, Monopoly. Okay. Here's a question. If you land on a space that you own and have hotels on it, 
how much do you have to pay? Is it A, $100, B, $50, C, $75, or D, nothing? Can you repeat the question again? Yes. If you land on a space that you own and have hotels on it, how many, how much money do you have to pay? Is it A, $100, B, $50, C, $75, or D, nothing? Place that has hotels on it. I, I'm not sure. Is it $50? No, it's nothing. If it's your property, you have hotels on it, you don't have to pay oh, nothing. You don't, man. Yep. All right. <laughs> we shuffle it. All right, uh, go ahead, Alex. Let's try state capitals in the top, top uh, left. Going state capitals, okay. Your question. Oklahoma City is the capital of which state? Is it A, Idaho, B, Oklahoma, C, Iowa, or D, Vermont? Well, obviously, it's Oklahoma. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is like, what you trying to say that for? It's Oklahoma, obviously. <laughs> right. All right, here it goes. $2,000 is in the pot, and call which category are you going with? Now she's going for the bonus category. Okay. Three part question. Answer that three part question correctly, Carla. You got another turn coming. Okay. What are the names of the three Nirvana band members? I repeat again. What are the names of three of Nirvana band members? Uh, there is Kirk Cobain. One. Dave Roll. That's two. Dave Navarro? Say it again. I don't know if he's in, um, no, it might have been, oh, I'm going to go Dave Navarro, but I know I'm wrong with the third one, but I got two, right? Yeah, you are wrong with the third one. No, it's Chris Nova, it's Chris Nova, Nova Select. It's Chris, I would have known that one. Yeah. I only got two in the, I only got two in the, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it, it was a good try. We shuffle. We still have two thousand dollars in the pot. Okay, Alex. Uh, let's go with math in the center. Two part question worth three thousand dollars, and we will give you the time on that. Okay. Okay. Here's your math question. The first one in. The number 6.73, and which place is the 7? Is it A, the 10th place, or B, the 100th place? And the second one, in point 3, which digit is the 10th place? Here's the time to think about it. Okay, Alex, so which part do you want to answer first? In 6.73, in which place is the 7? It's the 10th. Correct. And for the center box, in point 3, which digit is the 10th place? It's the 3. Right you are. Good job. $5,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. All right, Carla. Monopoly for the block. Well, Monopoly for the block, your question on Monopoly. What is the uh, name of the U.S. Monopoly mascot? Uh, old Rich Money Bags, whatever your name is. What's your answer? Uh, Uncle Rich Money Bags or something like that. Okay, I was going to give you the choices. But uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. No. You would have, yeah, if you had to let me, gave you the choices, you would have gotten it. Yeah, it's, it's Rich Uncle Penny Bags. Rich oh, Uncle Penny Bags. Why are you stopping like that? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm filming. I'm putting it down Huh? I'm Okay. All right. We have 5000 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, uh, 
Alex. Oh, I guess it'll have to be the Bible for the win. All right, you get this question right on the Bible, Alex. It's tic-tac-toe, $7,000, and you'll be the new champion. Huh? Yeah, I'll let you know there, okay? Sorry about that, y'all. All right, here's the question. Who is Mikkel? Who is Mikkel? Is it A, an angel of the Lord? Be the father of Daniel, see the daughter of Saul and wife of David, or D the handmaiden of Sarah. I think she's the of the Say that again. The angel of the Lord. That's incorrect. I'm sorry. Oh. She's the daughter of Saul and wife of David. Uh. Yeah, so Carla has been saved. Five thousand dollars is in the pot, we shuffle. All right, Carla. Not really. Sports trivia. Go with sports trivia for the block. Your question. Who was the first boxer to win the world heavyweight title three times? Is it A, Lewis, B, Ali, C, Tyson, or D, Foreman? Mike Tyson? No, that's incorrect. It's Muhammad Ali. Oh. Yeah, I was going to do that, but I thought he might not have won three times. Oh. Yeah, it's Muhammad Ali. All right, we still have 5000 in the pot. We shuffle it. Okay, uh, Alex. Math for the win. Get this question right on math. Tic-tac-doe, $7,000, and you'll be the new champion. Here's your question. Three-fourths is an example of what type of math function? Fractions. Say that again. Fractions. Tic-tac-toe! <laughs> Nicely done, Alex. So Nicely done. $7,000 is in the pot, and you win that $7,000, and you're going to go against that dragon shortly. Well, Carla... You're the winner with a hundred. You have a hundred thousand six hundred forty-nine dollars. Yeah, that score can last on the leaderboard. I knew my run couldn't last that long, but I had fun. Get that dragon, Alex. All right, all right, Carla, and thanks for playing with us. All right, uh, Alex, let let's do that. Beat the dragon game. How about it, Alex? All right, let's do that. Here we go. And we still got 17 minutes left. Okay, Alex Ho. If you're ready to go, let's see what prizes you're in for. We have a dining group and dinnerware. A trip to Montreal. A Therosana. A two off two off world motorbike. A trip to Boston. A Queen Anne console piano. And those prizes are totaled. $28,590. And get the tick and the tackle in your picks, Alex. It's a $55,000 bonus. During your first two picks, it's $110,000. Let's cover up the board. We have not given away a double bonus yet this season. Let's do it here, Alex. We're number six. All right, let's see what's behind number six. There's the tick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, find a tack is a $110,000 bonus. Robbie, it's 2016, and in the spirit of 2016, let's go with number one. Good luck to you, Alex. We would love to see a tack for $110,000. Let's see it. No. Uh oh. $2,500, and you want to take that money, walk, or keep going? Oh, I, I, I'm going to go. Go ahead. Let's try number eight. Let's see what's behind number eight. It's $3,000. You're up to $5,500. Stop or go? Let's keep going. All right. Try 
You only need $4,500, but Attack will give you the $55,000 bonus. Let's see it. You're another $1,000. You're up to 6500 Stop or go. Let's keep, let's keep going. Go ahead. Number three. Let's see what's by number three. You guys done it. Good job. I want to say it's behind, behind Little Deuce. It was a nine caller. Very good. All right, Alex. So, so let's add your total up. That was $39,090 for that bonus round. We add your previous winnings of $7,000. That gives you a total of $46,090. And we're going to take another quick commercial break, guys. And when we come back, we'll have our final game of the evening. Don't go away. Hello, guys. And we're going to do our last game of the evening with Tim McClellan. How are you doing, Tim? Hey, Rodney. Let me straighten this camera out a little bit. Are you ready to do this? All right, here are the new nine categories we'll be dealing with, and they are, we have uh, fruits and veggies, the $10,000 question, solar system, Star Wars, pop music, we have the jumping category, all about Nick, double or nothing, and slogans, and Tim, I just unlocked your buzzer. Okay. All right, and uh, Alex, which category would you like to start with? Is that Alex Hull there? Hello, hold on. Is that Alex Hull there? Yeah, I can't hear me. Yeah, what's your category? I said all about Nick in the bottom left. Okay, all about Nick. Okay, your question on all about Nick. What show Involves the aggro crag and referee Mora Cork. Is it A, Guts, B, Make the Grade, C, Legends of the Hidden Temple, or D, Double Dare? It's Guts. Right you are. Good job. We have $2,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. All right, Tim. Uh, let's try slogans in the center. Two-part question worth $3,000, and we will give you the time on that, okay? All right, the first slogan. We'll leave a light on for you. That's the first slogan. And the second slogan, no more tears. Here's the time to think about that. All right, Tim, which part do you want to answer first? Uh, let's do the first one. We'll leave a light on for you. And that's the slogan for Motel 6. Correct. And no more tears. That would be Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Right you are. Good job. All right, we have $5,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle the board. All right, out so. Okay, your question on All About Nick. What does Finder Keepers allow contestants to do? Is it A, find the pie coaster, B, trash a house, C, slime their parents, or D, search the old Mex temple? That would be destroying a house. Right you are, good job. $7,000 is in the pot, we shuffle it. All right, your your selection, Tim. All right, looks like we're going to make this interesting. Let's go $10,000 question of block. All right, this will make the pot $17,000, and you'll have the block if you're right. 
Here's your question. What's the common household name for diluted acidic acid? I repeat it again. What's the common household name for diluted acidic acid? Five seconds. I'm just going to take a guess and say bleach. Oh, that's not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. That's incorrect. The answer is vinegar. Ah. Vinegar. Yep. All right, we still have $7,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle it. All right, out two. Uh, double or nothing for the win. All right, it could be... $9,000 if you want it to be, or you can risk it, okay? But you have to get through this question first. Here's your question. Who became an animated Disney megastar after replacing Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? It's Mickey Mouse. Right you are. Now, now you have an interesting decision. You can take the $9,000 and call it quits, or you can gamble a little bit and hopefully uh, add some more money to the jackpot. But remember, if you miss the question, your uh, Tim will still be ended. What do you want to do? I'm just going to play it safe and stop right here. And it's Tic Tac Go! $9,000 giving you a total of $55,090. And we're going to do that Beat the Dragon game immediately, shortly. Okay, uh, Tim, thank you for joining us, man. Uh, we'll definitely have you for another game, okay? Thank you, Rodney. All right, and also we're going to get to the Beat the Dragon game so we can get right to Joker's Wild, okay, man? All right. Here we go. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game for the final time. We're going to get right into it because we got under two minutes left. All right. And here are the prizes you're in for, Alex Hill. We have a trip to Boston, a spa, a trip to Nashville, a bedroom group and sleep set, a queen size brass bed and sleep set, a baby grand piano, and those prizes are totaled $36,279. And Alex managed to find a ticket in the tax is a sixty thousand dollar bonus. During your first two picks, we'll double that bonus to one hundred twenty thousand dollars. Let's cover up the board. <laughs> if you're ready to go, go ahead and start picking, Alex. Four. Let's see what's behind number four. It's four thousand dollars. Stop or go. Let's keep going. All right. Number nine. Let's see what's behind number nine. It's $3,000. You're up to $7,000. Stop or go? Let's go again. All right. Next call. Number two. Let's see what's behind number two. There's another $1,500. You just need another $1,500. You're at $8,500. let us go again. All right. Number five. Let's see what's behind number five. You did it! Another $13,500. Nice. Yes. I like those. Number six. Let's see what's behind number six. Number six. Nicely done, Alex. We not we did not see the dragon in this episode, too. Let's see where the dragon was. In number one. So, Alex, so good going. That's another $49,779. We had your previous wins of $55,090. That's a total of $104,869. All right. And guys, we're plumb out of time almost. So this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care everybody, and we're going to get right to Joker's Wild on our Souls channel right after this. So take care, y'all. All right, let's get the closing. And here we go.